October the 14th, 2025. Microsoft's finally going to cut the head of Windows 10, which means you're not going to be able to use Windows 10 anymore. Why? Because simply, it's not going to receive any updates, which make your files, your machine, and you in danger, and make you an AZ victim for malicious files and all the type of sh that you might imagine. So what could you do in this situation? Good question. And that's what I'm going to answer today. So me and you, we know that switching to Windows 11 is something that Microsoft keep yapping about all the time, annoying our asses to updates. Or if your machine doesn't support Windows 11, Microsoft somehow tries to advertise that you need to buy a whole new machine just to run Windows 11. And that's not fair. Of course, that's not fair. What they mean will buy a whole machine just to run an ugly operating system like Windows 11. Yeah, we know. It's kind of stable, receives updates and all of that. But basically, Microsoft, I will tell you one thing. Go f*** yourself. We don't care about Windows 11. We want to use Windows 10 simply because you forced us to use the operating system for about 10 years, which means we got used to it, right? Not only me, but a lot of people, and we're talking about millions of people, millions that still use Windows 10 to this day, and they don't want to switch to Windows 11. Of course, you got to give the option to your people, to your customers, to keep Windows Windows 10 or to switch. But of course, that's not something that Microsoft will do. So in that case, we need to find solutions. And what I mean with solutions is alternative. Windows 10 Professional or Windows 10 Home. Well, let's say all the Windows versions that we got used to no longer can receive updates, but there is a solution. In front of you, you can say I'm using Windows 10, but this version I'm using is a bit old. If you read it, the version over here, you're going to see it's version 21H2. And of course, the latest version of Windows 10, I I believe it's 22. What's the latest world of Windows 10? It's gotta say it's yeah, 22 H2, and I'm using 21 H2. A bit old, but the good thing about this version I'm using is that it's gonna receive updates until 2032. Crazy, isn't it? Yes, because this version I'm using is Windows 10 IoT LTSC. There is the Windows 10 LTSC, but that one gonna receive updates until only 2027, which is a year and a half from now. But you probably want more time, right? You want like a year and a half is not enough. Maybe you still want to use Windows 10 even more than that. So the best version you can install in your machine is Windows 10 IoT LTSC. Of course, it's available. You can download the ISO update your machine just like I did and enjoy it. And the good parts about this is that it has no bloatware whatsoever. You can use it and do whatever. It's much more stable than the other version of Windows 10, which is the professional and the home edition, for example. And it has less bloatware, as I said, and overall gives more performance. So it doesn't use that much resources in order to run, just like other normal Windows 10 editions. At this point, we're good. So you can receive updates until 20 32 and if you don't believe me i can just like search that up in front of you the end of supports of windows iot ltsc what the fuck are you saying that's not true are you fucking kidding me there is something going on with google yeah i think i'm a bit stupid i'm not gonna use this google search engine anymore can i switch to DuckDuckGo, please why in the hell you give me wrong answers google you disappointed me guys give me a minute i need to switch to DuckDuckGo because this is horrible such a shame that google puts me in such a shameful situation god damn and i'm not gonna cut this from the video i swear to god all right so choose this one all right thank you so oh i forgot to type 10 all right perfect enterprise so this is the version of windows we're talking about the start date is a 2021 mainstream end date is a 2027 and extended end dates is a 2032 we're good we're good in the other side there are going to be a lot of people that will be like hey i don't want to use windows anymore i completely understand we all want to move from windows me personally Personally, I'm moving from Windows to Linux. So at some point, this whole Windows thingy that you see in the background will never appear in my videos anymore, potentially, and they will be full-time on Linux. Microsoft is being such a spy by installing spy stuff in our machines, and that's not cool. So of course you would like to switch. You got a lot of options. I'll start with Linux. In front of your eyes, you got Linux Mint 22.1, the most stable Linux distro, or let's say one of the most stable Linux distros, and also it's beginner friend. The layout of Linux Mint is similar to Windows, so you're not going to face that much problem switching when it's about the desktop environments, because it's really similar to Windows, as I said, especially
especially to Windows 10, the performance overall is better than Windows because Linux from a long time ago knows how to use the resources the right way. So instead of wasting a lot of resources on random stuff just like Windows do, this one's use your resources and your hardware the right way, which gives the best performance out of your machine. We're good, we're good. Of course, there's other options available. For example, we're gonna go to Ubuntu. You got Ubuntu as well, stable, good looking, comes with GNOME desktop environments. And what's most importantly, you won't face that much problems with this. Of course, it depends on who you are, okay? And I said that in one of my previous videos, you gotta have a background research before you switch to Linux, because it's a whole different operating system. So make sure you make your background researches. Most Linux distros gives a stable experience, so don't worry. The only thing or the downside of Linux is the app supports and game supports. This year been a big year for Linux because a lot of games go supports on Linux. Good news. Bad news is like there is that 10% left of games. For example, I believe Valorant doesn't work because it's anti-sheet stuff. So I will tell you kind of to deal boots or either like to install Windows on a separate machine or something because there is going to be a lot of stuff that won't work out of the box or there is some stuff that's not going to be supported as all. So keep that in mind. All right. So if you're used to a couple applications that's available only on Windows, make sure you don't switch before finding an alternative. Linux aside, I just have a feeling that there are going to be some people in the comments going like, oh, I don't like Windows and Linux is too complicated for me. So what do I do? Well, 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 I have good news and bad news. The good news is there is Mac OS. The bad news is that they're expensive. Okay. They're overpriced. Let's say a lot of negative stuff about Apple products, but at the same time, we could be positive about it because Mac OS is kind of like have that sleek look to it. It looks good, beautiful, fancy. Basically, you won't have any problems using it. Mostly stable. It just, it needs a specific hardware to run. But what if you don't have enough money to buy a MacBook? What should you do at this point? You can create your own hacking talk. That's something we heard about a long time ago and started in the early 2000s, I think. I'm not really sure. But you basically take your desktop or laptop and just put macOS into it by adding and some tweaks to your machine as simple as that the only downside is that it's time consuming if you're a beginner and if you don't know how to do it me myself i tried to put mac os in my laptop and fail why because there is some configs that you need to edit yourself if you didn't find like uh, pre-made configs on the internet so there's a lot of stuff we could say about this uh, but in the same time that's a really good thing because sometimes when you install mac os on those machines or laptops or desktop mac os run better than the native machine itself. For example, a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini or something. And uh, yeah, look at that. And uh, rather than that, I could say that I have no more options available for you. I could say this is the end. You cannot do anything. But rather than that, you decide and you make your own decision. Me, I'm just here to kind of help you understand the situation and tell you that there is nothing to be afraid of. If you still want to use Windows 10, of course, there is Windows 10 IOC, LTSC. If you want to use Linux, I told you there is like Linux Mint. It's beginner friendly. It's amazing, customizable, and uh, a lot more. I know this video is not enough to make a decision, but at least I want to help you get an idea about what options you have. I'm a beginner myself. I'm not professional by any means, but I have experience with, you know, switching in between Linux and Windows and that big mess of Windows supports and all of this. And I just want to like help you get an idea, as I said. And I hope I did, you know, because that's going to be the best thing for me i don't really care about views but i just want you guys to learn something from my videos instead of just wasting your time and yeah this was really today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment letting me know about your opinion see you in the next one